everyone and uh, welcome to yet a new video if you're new here my name is Mohammed. Uh, we continue with our uh, training and preparation for elastic certified analyst exam and then uh, today's topic we will uh, discuss about or we will talk about um, uh, uh, create a data frame analytics job to detect uh, outlier so uh, just quick overview and based on the documentation of elastic uh, outlier detection or outlier detection is identification of data points that are significantly different from the other values in the data sets um, uh, which mean or for example or as an example is um, an outlier could be an error uh, or uh, unusual uh, entities in your data sets outlier detection is uh, an unsupervised machine learning technique there is no need to uh, provide the training data. So um, during the exam, they uh, will probably ask you to create uh, a machine learning job. Uh, and uh, this one like to find an outlier for uh, for uh, certain uh, uh, data. So uh, to be able to do that, let's switch to Elastic or let's switch to Kibana first. So this is Kibana. Uh, you know here where we can find uh, the machine learning uh, we saw previously the anomaly detection now we will see the data frame analytics so click on the um, uh, on the job as you can see here we don't have any job we have to create one and we have to choose uh, the right um, data sets that we will use to create uh, or to find an, an outlier or to create uh, an outlier detection so this is so we have regression classification and we have outlier detection so again it could be like let's say uh, an error unusual error or unusual upload or download or whatever like uh, you're based on your uh, on your data sets it's it will let's say create what is normal or what's not normal and it will uh, show you the result in the uh, in our case today we will choose uh, uh, outlier detection right so we will select the outlier detection and here if you want to search or if you want to uh, create uh, a filter uh, a kql so you can you can use let's say if you have host name or a destination ip or uh, any uh, field or any value of certain field that you want to focus your outlier detection on you can for sure create it here and uh, right after that if we scroll down or if we keep so here we have our uh, our sample as you can see here this is the values and everything and here as you can see the field that we can uh, apply our uh, outlayer uh, detection so as you can see here uh, all the fields that are date text uh, keyword we cannot apply uh, the uh, uh, outlayer uh, job on as you can see here in supported type so it, it should be boolean or number as you can see here different um, type of number uh, float half float and so on and so forth right so here uh, we have the uh, visualization of our relationship as you can see here between all the here we have four fields so during the exam or in your job so you have to select the right um, the right uh, fields that you want to create a visualization or a relationship between the the field as you can see here we have for example bytes and hourly daily here and here byte and the bytes uh, gauge and so on and so forth right so if you want you can remove one or add uh, another field but the field suppose or should be one of the fields here so uh, the field that we can apply um, mean in the right um, in the right format right it should be a number or um, or a boolean right um, what else uh, here the size uh, you can specify the size they they probably will ask you to specify the thousand ten thousand whatever or if you want to randomize the scoring you can um, you can click uh, on here to also uh, to uh, randomize the, the scoring uh, after that once you um, you prepare everything here you click on continue so we we prefer to keep everything uh, as uh, as it is like in the advanced settings here will be topic whatever five or whatever i will do it like this five uh, description if you want and you continue uh, 
So here, sometimes it show you some uh, warnings and why the, the warnings like here, as you can read, uh, they said like 30% of some fields are empty, which will impact um, will impact the uh, the result of our uh, outlier uh, detection. So keep this in mind. You uh, need to make sure, like in production or during the exam, that you choose the right uh, field and will not see this uh, warning. All right. Uh, so now uh, everything is ready. If we here we we have start immediately and create data view. So if they ask you to not create or not start it immediately you how you can choose this or you can do in, in select this one when you finish click on create and give it a few uh, seconds and it will uh, be ready uh, to use so as you can see here all the fields if we open so all the fields are uh, are done here the 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 messages if you uh, have any warning or error you will be able to find the the, the explanation here and you can see the uh, the message here and you will be able to um, to do uh, your analysis or, or to do your troubleshooting uh, once it finish you can click on your uh, visualization or you click on your uh, data uh, or finding or, or the outlier uh, detection and this is the output this is a visualization if you want and this is the analytics right um, and this if we go here this is the result so is um, um, it's based on the uh, on the score. You will see the uh, the variables. So the question will be, let's say, give me the max score or the mean or which one is outlier in in a byte or uh, byte counter or uh, whatever the the field that you uh, that you choose. You can find the result from here directly, or you can come here to discover and you click. You have a new index. So it's topic five. So as you can see here and here you have um, here you have the score. So if you filter based on the uh, no, I will I will just do it. I will just edit the uh, here. I will do exist. All right. And here you have the fields. And if you want to see which one is like have a higher score or lower score, you can see here and compare and response like by the date where it, when you find it or the the host or the client ip or what's whatever the uh, the question is right uh, we uh, arrive to the end of this uh, topic uh, please um, leave a comment in the uh, comment section if you have any question or uh, reach out and uh, with that being said we'll see you in the next topic